Welcome back guys, I'm Griff. This is Let's Play Dragon Age Origins and I accidentally leveled up Sten off, off of a video because I was looking for what level I was without realizing that I could hover over it and it puts it up like it's right here underneath me, but so you can't see it, but I can. Um, I went and looked up, and you can also see it right there, uh, I went and looked up what the best order for a basically uh, quest order would be. Um, and because I was like, we'll go see the dwarves and everything. Actually, based on the challenge rating that is hard coded into the game, um, Orzammar, which is where the dwarves are, is actually supposed to be pretty late. Like, uh, Bioware has this problem with quest logs and, and how to tell you where you should be for things. Oh, revival. Um, we're taking that because we need it, obviously. Uh, but even, even in like the Mass Effect series, Bioware's quest log is terrible like here's all of these quests that you can do some of them might lock you out of some of the other ones and we're not gonna tell you in which order you should do anything go forth and live your life <sighs> why why could you not put some sort of like hint in that this level might be beyond my reach um, and there I guess there kind is we're gonna go back to camp uh, because there's like outside of Orzammar there's an encounter um, that's supposed to scare you off unless it's easy for you. So like, unless you can just the blight. Smack How will you end it? Oh, oh, another Sten conversation. Uh, we have to fight the Archdemon. I thought we'd just ask the Dark Swan to leave. If this was an Alistair conversation, that would be my answer. Why do you ask? Uh, we have to fight the Archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of Dark Spawn. Yeah, no, How will man. you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Uh, wait. You doubt I'm really a Warden? What have you heard? What does this have to do with anything? You think I'm not a Warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Oh. Uh. I'm new, what you think you could do better, or I'm not here to impress you. <sighs> um, I kind of think he would respect the I'm not here to impress you thing, so I'm going to go with that. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. Mm. Sten approves, plus six. Uh, yeah, there's like the, the, like I was saying earlier, there's a... An encounter outside of Orzammar, and there's um, a place in Denerim. Like I could go to Denerim right now, but that really should be one of the late game things. Um, but really there's a place there that's supposed to stop me too. How the warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Ew. Do I have an outfit on him? Well, Why is he that I color? Anyway, it would sometimes be human flesh. I don't think he likes that. Oh, like you can tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, oh, oh Alistair. Don't listen to Alistair. He's full of rubbish. Uh, if you've had it and didn't know it, it was probably tasty. That sounds weird. It's like gateway to cannibalism. I'd never feed you another human being. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Huh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I'm still not. See, now he's the right color. Oh, now your fool dog placed in my pack. My eggs his tail. What is it? A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. <laughs> oh, gross! It's the thought that counts. He means well. Can't be stinkier than what normally goes into them. Wow! Bioware, you wrote that joke. Wow. Uh. I, th I think he thinks you need more meat on your bones. Why doesn't he share his food with me? It's the thought that counts. Dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. Okay. Okay. Don't do it again. You're a war dog, not a nursemaid. You heard the lady. It was a gift. You can't just throw it away like that. What's she going to do with half of a... Never mind. You heard the lady. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. Well, 
Rude. Uh, I think you hurt his feelings. You're a mean lady. <laughs> that dog is too smart for his own good. I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative. I can tell. I do it too. Well, okay. How do I give people stuff? How do I do that? Is it this? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let me go down to... Where's my... Where's the dogo? There we go. Okay, so you're plus two constitution right now. What does this do? Oh, that's that's good. I like that. That's plus eight armor, plus two armor pen. Let's do that. Oh, and you can wear this, which is plus 30 physical resistance. And it's supposed to make you look different, which it only kind of does. Maybe I just can't tell here. And, and I got you a present. Give gift. Dog approves. Yes. Uh, do I have any problems for you? I'm so glad I have the gift, um, like the word says Morgan and whatnot. I'm so glad I have those because I would not know who half these things are supposed to go to. I mean, I guess it does get a little spoilery because it tells you people that you have gifts for that aren't, aren't in your party yet. But at the same time, I, that's a wonderful thought. You're welcome. I don't know what to say. Okay. You have to be careful with Liliana, though. You can accidentally romance her. <laughs> kind of like a lot of the romances in Mass Effect. Um, where you're like, I was being polite, but now I am dating you. I don't know what happened. Uh, this one's for you. I am grateful. And Tis thoughtful indeed. This one is for you. I am grateful. Is thoughtful indeed. Oh, that one. I'm gonna hold on to that one because that one will give us a quest thing, and I don't want to start that yet. Alistair. I could get used to this, you know. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, we got a lot of booze for Ogren, who we haven't recruited yet. I gotta give that to Wen. Oh, I have one for Sten too. I should have gone back. Uh, give you this. A generous. Thank you. You're welcome. I am impressed. My thanks. Okay, cool. So everybody, we're mostly friends. And I'm just gonna hold on to that grimoire for right now. Who needs this? Does somebody need this? Who needs a belt? You have a belt. You don't need a belt. You need a belt. Where did it go? Here's a belt. Uh... 10 to healing effects received. I actually uh, think Alistair needs that. <laughs> I mean, kind of hate to be like that about it, but I think he needs it. Um, you don't get a hat. Is this the necklace? Yeah, amulet. You've got a necklace. I hate, like, the micromanagey part of stuff where it's like, go through and make sure everybody has stuff on. Which I get it. Like, I understand why it exists. It's an RPG, obviously. You're gonna have, you know, inventory management to handle. I'm gonna look at the rest of that stuff off video later. Party approval. Look at all these people approving of stuff. New ability. That's nice. Okay, let's go talk to everybody. Let's save, because I just leveled. Or I, I didn't level. I gave people stuff. Let's go talk to people. Alistair, what are you doing? Nope, that's walking past you. Let's just talk to Something you. on your mind? Uh, has anyone told you how handsome you are? Is this the start of the Alistair flirting? I I can't remember. Has anyone ever told you how handsome you are? Just Not unless they were asking me for a favor. Well, there was that one time in Denerim, but those women were <laughs> not like you. Why? Is this your way of telling me you think I'm handsome? Oh no. <laughs> Um, there's, like, there are guides on how to best gain relationship stuff and how to not lock yourself out of relationship stuff, and I did not look that up, so I really hope that I don't accidentally click the wrong thing and, you know, you know you're handsome. I like that that's bolded as best you can in that font. Just an observation, don't get excited, and what if it is? What then? My lips are sealed. Uh... Um, I don't know. I feel like 
telling him that he knows he's handsome is probably not the way to go. I'm just gonna look. I'm just gonna look. I don't want to mess it up. And there's, like, they make it so easy. Again, with the Bioware didn't know exactly what they were doing to start with thing. Um, they make it so easy for you to accidentally handicap yourself. Or, in some cases, accidentally romance somebody without realizing what you're saying. Um, stop. This, I, have, I have a guide. Like, I guess I saved the page on my phone because it's already open in a tab. So how long has that been sitting there? Uh, oh no. How far down the list is this? I don't even know. Uh, oh no. Hang on a second, I gotta look at things. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, so I, I got that figured out. I just had to double check, okay? I didn't want to mess it up because, like I said, Bioware makes it easy. Um. As it turns out, just an observation is the only one that will straight up, like, end your conversation and actually get your negative points. Uh, so I'm going to go with, um, with the you know you're handsome one, because apparently that's not a bad one. I think that's the one I want. Let me double check. I looked at, I looked at the values for them, too. Like, there's a number value of everything. What, you know. Yeah, that one's fine. I know. Why, why do you play the game if you're gonna look at a guide, right? Well, because... Me. I don't want to mess it up. It doesn't hurt to have a pretty girl say that, though. Beats being run through with a sword any day. Aww. So, is this the part where I get to say the same? Ah, uh, that would be nice. Not unless you don't think so, and I'd prefer you didn't. So again, if you accidentally tried to, you know, hit on Alistair, you could still not do that and tell him that you didn't want that. And I think I'm just gonna go, you don't have to say it unless you think so, you know. So not unless you don't think so oh I think so I'll just spring it on you when it's a surprise <laughs> okay that was a good choice see the the guide thing that I was looking at just tells you the point values it doesn't tell you what the actual conversation is so that's still nice it's still kind of surprising um let's go talk to Liliana oh. yes I'd like to talk okay so you don't have anything to talk about right now when you look so pensive. Oh, it's been a long day. You're asleep. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Are you alright? Yes, you should get some rest. Starting to slow down a little, are we? Why you gotta be a jerk? Are you alright? Yes, yes, of course. You sure? I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. Aw. No, you're a person. Hmm. There's still some life in those old bones, I bet. That seems mean. It's a little hard to miss, yes. You are s very sprightly for your age, though. I... I think that's a nice way to say that. Yeah. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Aw, oh, don't be like that. When? I'm sure you'll be kicking around for years yet. Hey, don't say those things. We still need you. You're not allowed to be done quite yet. Well, yeah. Uh, I sure hope you'll be kicking around for years yet. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. Aw, well, at least I got one approval. Do I need to talk to you, I guess? The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. Do you need anything? Be ready. Will they work together? Or they will work together. Uh, that one. The sincerity of your cause has drawn them together under a common banner. It would not have happened otherwise. <clears throat> So the emissary is basically a dude that's here to collect these supplies that you can load into crates. And eventually when you start recruiting people, you get more supply things to drop off. Um, that's really all, all he is, I guess. Uh, Sten, do we need to talk, buddy? Yes. No. We're good. So I think that you just... As you wish needed to talk to me at the very beginning. I guess let me see if Morgan has anything to say. I bet I'm gonna I'm gonna get an earful about the mages, I bet. What do you wish of me? 
Oh, no? Okay, good. That's good. Never mind. Thank you. Usually your companions have stuff to say after main mission stuff, but I guess not in this case. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Oh, good to have you along on the road. Uh, let me see your wares. I think I'm sure I you'll be sold pleased everything. With the goods, my boy and I have collected. Oh, did I and buy the backpack? Can discount. I buy it? My discount. Discount double check. Um, backpack. I cannot afford that yet. It's so expensive. You wouldn't think seven gold is a lot of money, but it is. I guess that's kind of depending on how what games you've played. I guess in some D and D worlds, that's. A lot of money. Oh, that other guy that was standing here is gone because he's already given me his quest. Okay, cool. Let's save and uh, go to the world map. I, when I was looking at the thing, it said that I should go to Redcliffe before I do dwarves or the elves. So we're going to go to Redcliffe. Um, but we definitely yes. need Alistair to go since he actually knows the dude there. When's our dedicated healer? Um... You just got a new outfit, so I kind of want to take you. Sten's been doing really well. But we also found out why we don't need so many melee. But I don't... I did not give Liliana a ranged weapon yet. No. I need to give her a ranged weapon. She needs to be an archer. Uh... Yeah. Indeed. You go so that I can give you stuff. Uh, let us go to... No. No. Yes, Redcliffe Village. Thank you. That's where I would like to go to. Wow. Why did we go up and around? I guess it's the same. Oh no! Fighting on the road! Surprising! There's like a fight on every road. Oh, is this one specific to... I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. Ooh, With your leave. The Antivan Crows okay. send their regards. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Mwahaha, the evil. He's so bitter right now. Like, oh no, the consequences of my own actions. Dear, what do I do? Concentrate, like we practiced. Oh, okay, now, what are you guys doing? Fire. Oh, oh, okay, what is this? Skeletons? Is there a big skeleton that I need to take care of? Oh wait, can I, can I give Liliana a bow and does she have points to spend? Um. Now she only has a dagger. Ah, uh, do I have another dagger? Because I think she's got melee stuff right now. She's a bard. Oh, I'm multi-classing her with like a bard rogue. Uh, okay, fine. Do I have? I've got a dagger. That's a good dagger, I guess. Choose that. Two of those. And maybe some clothes that don't suck. Uh, that's not so good. Get that to somebody else, though. That's okay. I can swap your clothes around later. Uh, you need... You need not a helmet. Um, I don't think any of these do anything. They don't. Okay, well, that's all you get. Sorry, Liliana. You can't wear any of this stuff. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna leave her to her own devices and hope that she doesn't die. Let me hit him. Oh. Well, he did not. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Look, you're not a melee. 
Why are you here? You don't actually have to run all the way over there. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Group heal would be useless, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, this is what I get for being an idiot. Uh, let me go get that guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Things are bad. Bad things are happening. Oh, good. That one guy got stuck. Liliana, how about you go home this dude? I don't want them to die. If at all possible, I think one's about to kill Alistair, which that did not help him at all. Uh, is that other guy dead? Or did he I don't know if he live? Uh oh. Alistair's dead. Wynn's fighting uh the big guy. Good. Good. That's what you want. And I'm dying in a middle. Is one gonna die? Stop hurting her! Okay, is this the last guy we left? I hope so. I didn't look. Oh, there's another person on the map. Where is he? He's going after that mage. Liliana, can you take care of that guy, please? Thank you! Or don't. Oh, because that, that happened. You guys all right? You good? You good? I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. That guy's voice is so familiar. I don't know why. Who is that guy? Very well. Uh, also, uh, Arl Howe, the dude that double-crossed our family at the start of the game? Um, and was just talking to, uh, Logan. Yeah, that's, um, that's Tim Curry. So that's cool. That's cool. I hate that he always has to be a bad guy and stuff like this, but he has such a good bad guy voice. Like, just such a good bad guy voice. Let's save. Alright. I wonder if I go back out on the road if I'm gonna get attacked. Since now we know there's an assassin after us, because they showed us a cutscene to let us know. At least they gave us a heads up, I guess? Okay, it's just gonna let us go all the way to the Red Cliff. To the Red Lit. Words are hard. I mean, just, I don't know. What, why I have such word problems. This is the hinterlands. This is weird placement. Look, can we talk for a moment? Yes. I need to tell you something. I, um, should probably have told you earlier. Oh, what's on your mind? I'm not gonna like this, am I? Let me guess, you're an idiot. Can it wait? Uh, what's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That yeah. my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? Yep. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick. Eh. Which made Kaelin my half brother, I suppose. Oh. What? You don't think you might have told me that before? So, you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard? Um, doesn't that make you heir to the throne? Why didn't you wait, or why did you wait to tell me this? Doesn't that make you heir to the throne? Make his breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but... It never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. No. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Aw, I think I understand. I can't believe you were so stupid. Why would you be mean? Uh, you still should have told me, does Loghain know? Uh, 
I guess that's a legitimate question. Does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. Ooh. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Uh, are you sure you're not hiding anything else? You're the heir to the throne, then. Uh, why tell me, then? Why do I need to know? We can use this to our advantage. Um, I don't like any of these. Uh... The heir to the throne, then. Why do I? Why would I press him on that? Why tell me then? Why do I need to know? I mean, because he trusts you. Um. Er, we can use this to advantage. Like, it's an, a bit of information that he likes to keep to himself. Why would I try to leverage that? Like, that seems incredibly self-serving. I. Guess let's make sure there's nothing else. Besides my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair. No, that's it. Just the prince thing. I love him so much. Uh, so I should be calling you Prince Alistair? You're a prince. Somehow I find that very thrilling. Uh, that, that reads like super gold digger to me. Um, you're the heir to the throne then? Why? Why you just gotta keep poke of that? Why tell me he said okay so that's I'm, so should I be calling you Prince Alistair? No, Maker's breath. Just hearing that gives me a heart attack. <laughs> it's not true anyhow. I'm the son of a commoner. It was always made clear that the throne is not in my future, and that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kalen's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though. If he's really as sick as we've heard, oh no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. <laughs> Aren't you? As you command, my prince. I don't know if that's negative points or not. Uh, that's not really what you think, is it? Um, and what does that make me? I'm Alistair sidekick still? I mean, um, let's see. Uh, I, I wonder if he's questioning, like, what, if I say that's not really what you think, is it? I wonder if I'm questioning whether he thinks that I think he's some nobody. Uh, I don't know. Uh... And I kind of want to do the my prince thing because I feel like that's just her kind of, you know, picking on him because they're friends. But at the same time, I don't want it to come across as, like, her being a jerk to him because he just told her this thing, you know? He doesn't like it. Uh, I guess that's not what you really think, is it? Well, no. What I really think is that I was lucky enough to survive with you. Oh. Oh, what a sweet way to walk away from the conversation, too. Cute. Cute. Okay. Um. I guess before we, because of where we're at time-wise, I guess before we go into the city proper, we'll call it here, and then venture into... Why does Liliana look so yellow? That's weird. You Okay. Um, anyway, before we venture in, we'll save it here, we'll come back next time, we'll go into the city, probably talk to that guy on the bridge, I guess, because that's probably a thing that we have to do. At first I didn't even notice him, he kind of blends in, but, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, regardless, next time, more adventure. I'll see you then.